It's 6 a.m. and my alarm's going off. But the thing is, I don't even have school the next day because it's the first day of summer break. Eight weeks off of school. But normally on the first day of summer holidays, I like to go to sleep really late and then also wake up really late because you just can, right? Why not? But I vividly remember this one day because the night before, I've been vividly watching videos on my phone. It was that AI male voice YouTube shorts and there was a video of a hooded figure doing push-ups on the streets, going to the gym, etc. But the most important part was the quote that was being read out. It was something along the lines of, the successful man wakes up and works all day on his business and when he feels like quitting, he works even more. And it stops me from scrolling, I've been scrolling for hours and like, it's different to the rest of like, the normal brain rot content, right? It catches my eye and I'm feeling pretty motivated right now. And probably not the best for me falling asleep as I was lying in bed at like 11.30 at night. You've seen these types of videos before, right? And they're pretty well made. But the point is, it's the start of the summer holidays and I really, really don't want to waste this one. I've already been kind of thinking that how nice it would be to make some money online. So here I am lying in bed, really excited now, because from tomorrow I'm gonna change my entire life around. I grab my phone and I set an alarm for 5 a.m. But then I look at the clock and it's already 12 and I think if I wake up at five, I'm gonna be really tired, I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I quickly change the alarm to 6 a.m., shove my phone to one side and I fall asleep. I wake up the next morning and I turn my alarm off. I still have that motivation effect from last night. I have no problem getting up and feeling awake. As I jump out of bed, I can hear all those quotes in my mind. Rule 57, wake up before your competition so you can crush them. But that's when the first roadblock appears. I'm sitting in front of my laptop, ready to start making money online. I've woken up at 5am like they all told me to, but I have no idea where to start. I'd gotten myself all motivated, and I'd even made myself wake up at 5, which is something that's usually really difficult, right? But that was as far as I had planned. As I think about what I want to do and how I want to make money, I'll just start my summer homework so I can get that out of the way. And I'm sitting there proper proud, right? Wait, that's actually a pretty good idea. Good job, me. And I'm determined to get my 2000 word essay done because it's a big task that I need to get done anyway. So I'm thinking if I get that done, I can focus on my money making journey later. And so I open the Word document and crack my fingers ready to dive in. And after typing up two sentences, and the title. I realise I really need to piss, so I go and do that. After I come back, I realise that I don't really like the font of the Word document, so I open up like the fonts tab, go through each one individually, and actually settle on this really like goofy font that I end up like changing my mind about five minutes later and just reverting back to the original one. I mess around with the page format and font size for another good 10 minutes, making it all just perfect. And then so I write a couple more sentences, right? But then I realise I'm also thirsty as hell, and I remember Oh, one of the rules was that after you wake up, you have to have a glass of water. So I go back downstairs to the kitchen, get myself a big glass of water, and then come back up. But as I'm writing the next sentence, I remember some study YouTuber saying, Oh, listening to some brown noise is good for your productivity. So I search up brown noise on YouTube. Oh, okay, oh, 10 hour brown music, got it, and then I turn that on. But you know how on PC, like this chord is preloaded. And as I'm adjusting the volume for my brown noise, I click on the Discord like icon and someone's posted a YouTube link there and before I know it I end up on YouTube. This cycle repeats for the rest of the day. I don't actually leave my chair that much that day because I type a couple of sentences and then I watch YouTube scroll, watch random YouTube documentaries that I don't even care about. But by the end of the day, I do have my essay done. I feel tired and my eyes are really sore. But this is how it's meant to feel, right? This is productivity. This is the productivity that's been sold to me. It's meant to be hard work, but that's okay because I got the work done. These motivational channels say you need to push past your limits and grind, so surely I'm doing it right. So time to do this all over again tomorrow. And I know you relate to that. I sat down and spent all day working on that essay. Not only was it unproductive because I was constantly distracted. You think I woke up at 6am again the next morning? Hell no bro, I woke up the latest I'd ever woken up. The grind mindset is glamorized and printed all over social media, but it's not actually productive nor effective, nor sustainable in the long run. When it comes to productivity, you have to ask yourself what type of player you are. All these motivational videos, they tell you that you have to wake up at 4am, entrepreneur morning, etc. And they they all sell you this lie but in fact everyone's not the same luckily for me my whole life i was in fact a morning bird even like when i say um the next morning i woke up the latest i'd ever woken up that was still like 9 a.m so i know i'm a morning player i work best then 
but this isn't also the full picture. Just as in games, you have people who try to like speedrun Minecraft as fast as possible, but then you also have players who are like just relaxing, enjoying and spending a lot of time because they want to like collect all the blocks etc. The way you work and learn is different from person to person. There are some basic rules that apply to everyone, like you know that you should study for at least 25 minutes but not over 3 hours in one block. But in between those 25 minutes and 3 hours, how you work is going to be different to everyone. That's why some people do the 25 minute Pomodoro cycle, but there's also people like me who just like to sit down for 2 hours and bust out a good deep work session. I recently read Ali Abdel's book Feel Good Productivity and he explains it better than me, right? A virtuous cycle is a system where each step feeds naturally into the next step leading to better outcomes over time. Feeling good boosts your energy, energy boosts your productivity, and productivity makes you feel better. It's a positive feedback loop. Once you start getting done and start making progress towards your hard task, like you see the word count going up, you're breezing through these maths questions, it starts feeling good and you get it done in no time. I wasn't utilizing this and the work I forced myself to do was boring and not something I felt good about. I had to force myself, I had to grind for it, and that was a big mistake. One more thing I like to tell younger me is that to make the work engaging. I was so hooked and distracted when watching these nicely edited documentaries on YouTube, right? The king of the dark web, Minecraft's richest player, because they're engaging, they're designed to hold my attention. Find the joy in what you're doing, not just in what you've gotten done, because after all you play video games because they're fun, not just because you want to get to the end. In The Gifts of Imperfection, professor and social worker Brené Brown explains that gratitude will help you find joy in process, not just the results. Like for example, if you find going to the gym tedious, you can keep yourself engaged by appreciating the friends you've made at the gym, the, your physique, how much better it's gotten, and how energized you feel. And that's why I wasn't focused on the task. Just having a Word document open and having to write an essay about maths while reading a textbook is of course boring and it leads to me not being productive and wasting my own time. That's why I like to use Brilliant to learn computer science. Because I remember also on another day of the same holiday, I told myself I want to become a computer science guru. Like all these computer science like students seem so cool, right? They just have their MacBook, they wake up early and then they get their work done on a computer and they're all like rich and successful. So I bought an online computer science course and they sent me over a massive word document, right? Like 8,000 words. And it was just a bunch of words telling me how to get started. You think I read all that? Mm -mm. You think I was productive? Hell no. That's why I love Brilliant for this. Brilliant is a free and most importantly interactive tool that covers all the points we mentioned. It's visually appealing and it just feels like a game. Learning computer science and Brilliant felt like a dream come true because I could see how everything worked. It wasn't just lines and lines of code and it felt like a game and it had the interactiveness I desired. And this doesn't even compare to that Word document course of course. And if I ever don't understand something I can easily click to see how it works. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org forward slash jspark and the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual subscription. And so I think productivity is portrayed really toxically in the modern social media and modern world. And I was a first-hand victim of this, being constantly distracted, but worst of all, thinking that it was still good. Eight hours a day glued to my computer, that was productive, that was what productivity was. And I hope you're enjoying these student stories and you'll learn something. If you want to share your own student story, join Superior Students, my free online community of students, where you can help and learn from other students all across the world. First link in the description. Remember to challenge what you see on social media and productivity isn't something that's a one size fits all. Take action and I'll see you in the next one.